If you play online games like League of Legends, I'm sure you already face situations like this. Picture this scenario, you queue up for a game and then you leave to go to the kitchen and grab your favorite drink. When you come back, you realize that you just completely missed to accept the game. And then you need to queue up again, sometimes for several minutes. If you have Python skills, I will show you in this video how can you use them to overcome this problem and build a script to automate to accept the game. And this logic can be applied to any game or any other process within a game. We will start by building an MVP to test our idea. And if that idea works well, we will apply that logic to the use case that we want. And lastly, we will build an executable file that you can run every time that you need it. It's very simple and very useful. Before jumping into the code, let us know in the comments what game are you currently playing, because this logic can be applied to any game, not just this use case for League of Legends. Let's jump into the code. Well, the first thing that we are going to do is to create a new file. Accept game dot py. After creating the file, you should select an environment for your Python to run, and then we need to import the PyOtogi library. PyOtogi is the package that will allow us to locate the buttons in the screen and click on them. We'll also use the time package, so let's import it. And before moving forward, you need to have this accept button, the button that we want to click when it is displayed on the screen. So make sure that you have it. It is in the GitHub repository in the description. And once you have this image, we can proceed with the code. So basically, you are in the queue while waiting for the game to start. And then that button will be visible for a couple of seconds. You want to detect that button in the screen and click on it. And for that, let's start by writing a function. So let's say that we want to write a function of click accept button. And basically, to start our script, we will call this function. So this is what triggers the script that will automate this process. Now, within this function, we need to do a couple of things. We need to find where the accept button is, and we'll use PyOtogi for that, and then we'll center the mouse in that location. So we can click and accept the game. It is a very simple script. And for that reason, we'll start by accept button location equal to none, like this. This is just to define the location to kickstart the loop that we'll be doing next. And for that, let's print a statement that we are looking for the button. So print looking for button. And here you write a while loop saying that while a set button is none, we will be looking for the location of this button in the screen. So the set button will be equal to pi autogi dot locate on screen. And here you need to tell what you want to locate on screen. So we'll write a set PNG and we'll write a confidence equal to 0 0.7. You can change and play around with this confidence to find the button. So in here we can write time sleep of for example one second because this way we don't spam the loop and it will be looking for the button every one second. And here once it finds the button we can print a statement telling that the button was found. So for example button found. And once the button location is found we can center in that location by writing a set button center and this will be equal to pi auto gi center and we write the button a set location and once the mouse is in the center of the button we'll press in that button for that pi auto gi click and we'll give the a set button center Finally, let's print a final statement telling that match was accepted and exiting. So we put a time slip just to see this comment, the statement, by the way, and then we exit. But before testing this actual code, let's take this as an MVP and test our code with this button, the party button. 
because if you press accept game and then you don't play because you are just testing your script you might have some problems after doing that a couple of times like i already did <laughs> so let's test this with the party button the button i want to test is this one so the Pyotogi should be able to locate him in the screen and then press and we should go in here so let's test our script and change this to party instead of a set so let's run our script it is looking for the button so let's give it in the screen it is here now and here it is match accepted exiting hmm there is a typo here let's change this and the script just stop because it exit after 5 seconds so correcting this exiting and then we are ready to accept instead of going to the party so the next time we run this it will accept the match once it is found so let's save this and move on to the executable part so we want to create an executable file with this code so we don't need to use virtual studio code every time we want to play games so we want to have just one executable file in our windows environment and that's pretty easy to create an executable file you need to open your command line with the environment active you call the py installer if you don't have it you can do pip install py installer and then you call the argument one file to have a single executable file and then you call the argument add data to add the set.png file. And finally, you call the name of the script that you want to create an executable. You press enter. And it will create an executable file for your script. Once it is finished, you can come to the dist folder where you have the assetgame.x. You open this in the file explorer and you can copy this to here because you also need the set.png you copy both and you can put both here or within a folder for your python script so let's change the name of our script accept lol game and let's run it open And here we have our script starting to run and we'll see in a couple of seconds that we'll start looking for a button. Here it is, looking for button. And every second now it is trying to locate the button in the window. But it doesn't see the button because actually it isn't here. So I can start an RM game to test our script. So let's find a match and wait for the accept button to be displayed here. The queue in RM games are fast but if you play League of Legends, you know that the struggle is real when playing ranked. It can take several minutes before the accept button to be displayed. Well, here we go. And match accepted. Now we are entering in the game and the script will be closed. For me, now it is time to play an RM game so I don't get banned. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and take a look at these Python projects that you will enjoy. I hope to see you around. Peace. Bye.